teaching education of students suffer when there's no quiet place in the house to study at night, no uh, good uh, place to get a good night's rest and perform well in school the next day. We have sicknesses like tuberculosis that are wiped out in Canada everywhere except First Nation communities. And uh, I think that uh, uh, things like family violence and uh, situations like that can all be tied into housing. present we have a, a housing waiting list. We have 196 uh, people on that list, families uh, included. Uh, right now we're constructing uh, on the average between 15 and 30 units per year uh, depending upon availability of funding. At the present rate uh, that we are constructing we'll never meet the demand. Uh, we uh, came and did an inspection of this unit and uh, we found that the flooring in the unit was totally shot so we decided that we would do a renovation. Uh, we got in underneath and found the floor joists were rotting in it also. Uh, the cost of repairing and renovating this unit became so high that it was not feasible to repair it. We decided then to condemn it and from that point we were going to tear it down and reconstruct a new unit for the family that was living here. A new house was constructed. The family moved into the new house and uh, we came up with the equipment to bulldoze the unit and found that one of the sons from the family that was uh, previously in here had taken up residence in here. Uh, he had advised me at that time that because there was not enough room in the new unit for that many people, he had decided to move his family into here. There was a lot of us living in this house. There was about 14 of us that stayed here. And when they moved, uh, about eight of them left. Eight, nine, nine of them. And we stayed back because the house they got is it was a four bedroom house, so they all got a room, two door room. So we stayed back. This house has been shifting. They tried to fix it before. It didn't last that long, it lasted about a year. Especially the window it didn't last that long. Well, right, uh, right now, I applied for a house. A house. I've been applying for the past three years. Since I started going out with my girlfriend. Wait. As you can see, there's not much to see. This is my uh, my kitchen right here, and uh, over here is my living room. Well, it only took like two steps. Wait, as you can see, my door. I don't have a door, and my stove right here. This is what keeps me warm. This is where I cook, right here. That's my fridge. That's where I put my food in winter time or hang up the food. Blue thing over there? Way over there? That's where I have to get water. The toilet? Yeah, yeah, the toilet is right there. Look at that. Who would want to sit there, eh? Every house you go you go to you'll see a problem like too many too many people in one house. There's about like uh, next door my, my mom's uh, they have they have like 20 people on that ho in that house alone yeah 20 people it's always I was always living with someone even right now I feel, I feel like I live I live with my brother you know because this is the same house you can hear them talking there's no privacy no privacy at all just no privacy there's no privacy yeah I got married but I got divorced because because of these of this house you know it's so poor nobody nobody wants to stay around here you know look at it look at this place look at everything around you I wouldn't want to be here but I have no choice 
I would go somewhere else, a nice place to live in. That wow, that would be a dream come true for my kids too, you know. Wow. But that'll never happen. What? I don't. Nobody cares. I don't think nobody cares. Nobody cares. None of our houses here in this community uh, has have running water, and all of them, majority of them, at least um, I would say 99.8% of them are on uh, wood stoves, and yet we still have to face sicknesses like Apatago. We need to wash your hands clean your clothes, put the, put the baby in a bathtub. You can't do that when your house is 30 below. The biggest uh, numbers that we're looking at is 16-year-olds, the 17-year-olds. That's the highest uh, population rate at this time. So they're going to be married, they're going to have kids, and they're going to have families. and. The way it's going now, I mean, we're looking at about two, two families, two three families per house. We don't know how we're, um, how or when we're going to adjust these uh, the funding rates. I mean, it's been ongoing since as far back as uh, 70s. Slightly north of Winnipeg, that's my home. This is Canada, and yet billions of dollars go to foreign aid. We need foreign aid here. Once again, I think this is about a guy who's like a bad dog. I don't know. You again, but I want to 